Yo, what's up? It's Big Coleon of the This Might Hurt podcast. Coming to you live from wherever the fuck we go live from. You know how it is. Um, I'm bringing my co-host. You know how we do. Um, here is Lady G. Lady G, what's up? Good evening. And How's here it going? Is, everything, everything's good. Everything's good. And here's TG Love. Oh, snap. Hey. What's up? What's up? Hey, TG. Hey. Not how's much. Every, how's much. everybody? Uh, no, nothing's really going on. Just chilling. It's just the ladies uh, ganging up on big this evening. Ooh. Yeah, it's, I guess it's ladies night. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, where's the drinks at, TG? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go around the room. Lady G, how was your week? Uh, it was good. I mean, it's only Tuesday, like I always say. But yeah, uh, Tuesday to Tuesday, between uh, Tuesday to Tuesday, it's uh pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. That's, that's good. What about you, TG? What's up? Same. Nothing to complain about, really. Mm. I mean, there's always something to complain about, but I'm I'm doing all right. And and it's like Tuesdays always are upsetting because they don't feel like Tuesdays, and then you're like, oh crap, it's just Tuesday. Hey Heather. Yes. Hello, Heather. Yeah. Hey, midnight. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 just just Tuesday. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, being as it's it was just Monday and Sunday and <laughs> like <laughs> and tomorrow will just be Wednesday. And tomorrow right. will just be tomorrow's Wednesday. hump day. We're a little closer. Yeah, a little closer. So it's good for the people who work uh, you know, during the week anyway. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, so with that being said, mm-hmm. Diddy's in jail. Oh gosh. Oh, is he? <laughs> and he's not he's not ever getting out. He's on suicide watch. He's, he's sure on suicide watch. I, I I think I don't think I don't think they're gonna go for it. He offered fifty million dollars for his bail and they said nope. Yeah, no, the judge said no. Yep. Mm. He tried okay. three times, and each time they were like, "Nope." The offenses are too too much, and oh, okay. it, yeah, it's it, they're bad crimes. Yeah, so, they're really really bad. Crimes. So the judge is not is like, mm, "Hell no." Especially <laughs> he's a he's flight caught. risk. He is a flight risk. He could get on caught. a jet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He and and disappear. I mean, yep. you'll never see him again. But. With all the baby oil involved and oh my god, oh my goodness, the dildos and and lube, I'm assuming, and then the ketamine and all that shit. He'll he'll never get out. He'll never get out. But did you see the list? No. There's a list of people that are people of interest in this case. So I I I, I copied it and oh I took a screenshot of it, and um, it's it's outrageous. You you wouldn't. I will. I don't know if I'd be surprised. All right. So let's start off. It's it's coming out that the people who attended Diddy's free golf parties will soon be. Um, questioned. On, will soon be questioned by the feds. These are just some of the names. Some. This so far includes Steve Stout. Don't know, I don't know who that is. is. I think he's uh I mean I, I, I if, I, if anybody out there knows who Steve Stout is, look him up, whatever, let me know who he is. Um Russell Simmons. Okay, we know that name and obviously. Eve. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aaron Hall. Don't know. He's him. he's an R and B singer, I think. Okay. I like that um, name. Sounds so familiar. Yeah. Jay Z. Oh. Beyonce. Beyonce, um, Rick Ross, Steve J. This one really got me though. I was like, Dr. Dre. Oh man. Um, Usher, Meek Mill. Okay. Drake. Here's another one that got me too. LeBron James. Oh. Um, the game. He, he's a rapper. Justin Bieber. What? Um, My ooh. daughter's going to be so sad. 
Yeah, some guy named Rod. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. <gasps> that one's upsetting me. Stevie J. Um, young Miami. I don't know who that is. Daphne Joy. I don't know who that is. Bishop P.D. Jakes. No way. Yep. You know who that is, um, Lady G? Oh, yes, I do. I oh, listen okay. to him almost every day. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no, no, man. Chris Brown and Jade Ramsey. Ramy, Ramy, whatever. Yeah. So those are I the mean, names. They're gonna be so questioning everybody who's associated with him, been to those parties, been invited to parties, been around like oh CEO, CEO of, of United Jesus. Masters. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of other CEOs and whatnot involved, but you know, but the I'm TV not gonna Jake assume Jake. anything. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, let's that's... let's wait till all the facts are in before well, everybody starts. Well, I'm sure everybody's making memes like crazy, so it's happening. Yeah, so this is another one, another article that I read that uh, a very big person of interest, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer well, Lopez. She was like with him. Yeah. Yeah, um, they say they said that someone said in an interview that um, the, the FBI at one point presented. Now, I don't know if this is true because you know how it is on the net. Mm -hmm. um, presented Ben Affleck with some video cassettes that they found at Diddy's place. You know what? I, I heard that. I heard that. And that, um, yeah, and that, uh, that that was like enough for him to be like deuces. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So shit's hitting the fan. People are going down. Uh, and Diddy's on suicide watch. I mean, some of some of the the charges are crazy. Well, the same thing happened with Epstein. So. And and uh, look where that got him. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> And the shit that's that that that's driving me a little bit up the wall about it too is that I mean people don't seem to understand the severity of this 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 thing. We're talking about sex trafficking, underage people, you know Grooming, what I'm saying? Grooming, sexual abuse, rape. Yeah. And they're saying that these parties were like overlooked by him as well as medical professionals mm. because they were using ketamine, ecstasy, and all other types of drugs to keep these people going during these parties. Mm -hmm. And then and keep them like kind of out of it. So they don't right. really know what the fuck is going on. Right. And then to, to, to give them IV fluids when everything was said and done. These like are, pretend like nothing happened. Like, you're all good, nothing happened type thing. Like, that is scary. Like, that's what I'm saying. And I'm going to be honest. Like, I've seen a lot of memes, and I don't think they're funny. Because I don't think the accusations that are being made right now and, like, the charges that are on this man right now are funny things. We're, we shouldn't be fucking making jokes and laughing about rape and sexual abuse. He fucking sexually abused Justin Bieber. Like... Yeah. I mean, we kind of knew this. Some shit was down already, but like that's disturbing. And like, God knows what else is gonna come out. That's why he's on suicide watch, because he knows the shit he did, mm -hmm. and, and he ain't getting out. Bigger coming. So that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, this is like just as bad as like Epstein. This is this is just as bad just as, as all bad. these these predators that are being. Mm -hmm. Found. And you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that they're getting them because what they're doing is horrible. Yeah. It's not okay to do shit like that. That's not how you party. I don't I, and and we're from the tri-state New York area. We don't party like that. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. what is that? That's power and money. Lives. 
Yeah. That's power and money. Yeah. You know, that, that can do that to a sick person, an individual who already likes power. And we've known this, the man has wanted power. He's always got, always around. They, there's claims about like stuff with Biggie um, and his videos or whatever. And like, I just like yeah, uh, music videos that were made and, and the people used in those uh, videos and shit like that. Like there's, is, you, is that the, is that the one that you were, the one with the, the transgender lady? You or, talking yeah. About? Something like that. I just saw. And I was just like, uh, I'm sure there's just a lot like out there that no one pays attention to. Look, R. Kelly got away with <laughs> the shit he did for how long? And we've known something was up from the moment Aaliyah Oh, of was course. out and around and that whole like marriage thing and him changing her age when she's fucking 16 and like why why not then were people like uh this is fucking weird and not okay like something's no, going on here and that, that should have been a red flag to begin with and let this man do what he did for so long that's what I'm saying like I guess it doesn't matter white or black. You have money. You can hush people up mm -hmm. and do whatever the fuck you want, it seems, until the right person comes along and finds out. Yep. But it's like there needs to be more right people out there coming out. It shouldn't fucking wait this long. And people shouldn't be abetting shit like this. Like, it's just... How do you sleep at night? Know. Knowing that you were around letting shit like this happen or you engaged or you helped or you participate, whatever. Right. It's fucking sick. Yeah. And and, and the, the fuck the fucked up, the fucked the really fucked up thing is that I feel personally that if you if you had if you had went to this one of these parties, right? And you saw what was going on and you didn't partake in it, but you saw what was going on. And you didn't do you, anything about you're, it. You're, you're an accomplice. Or say it. Yeah. Yeah. Or be an or anonymously go and say something. Like right. you can do that. This whole like stitches gets I mean, yes, yeah, stitches, 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 stitches get stitches is so stupid because there are certain things that you should be reporting. There are certain things that you should be looking out for other people in a situation. And, and the thing is, if it was happening to them, they wouldn't be saying the whole stitches, snitches get stitches. Right. Then, they'll sit then there, they're, sit, they'll then they're sit on there the like, news. Then right. they're on the news wanting to know if anybody sees something, say something. Right. And then you people know? get mad about it. Yeah. About about the oh they gotta say something to the cops because like hello that's their job they're trying to like stop the crimes <laughs> like that's the whole point <laughs> and then we all know like that bystander thing where people see things and they don't call they right. don't say anything they think someone else is gonna call and say something like yeah. accidents or whatever this is uh, like a thing and people are so quick to pick up their phones and make videos. And not yeah. actually call and fucking nine one one. Yeah, like shit is going down like bad, something bad. Right, and they're recording like, I'm just like, oh my god, like that video that I I talked about last time that the kid was shooting, like had a gun in his hand shooting. Oh, you oh, could see him we, running. I'm they're taking a video of this. Man. They're taking a video of this. I'm like. Okay, and then what? You're just posting it on the group right. and you're not calling the cops and telling them like there's this fucking little kid out here like yeah. shooting random people? Like wow. come on. Yeah. That's, That's so weird to me. Weird. Weird isn't the fucking words. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's yes. It's, it's sadistic. That's, it's... that's that's the world we're living in now. There there's just no there's yeah. It, yeah, it's it's, it's it's fucked up. It's gone. It's even, everyone even, to themselves. Like, even, and I get that to an extent, but the whole sense of like community and belonging isn't oh, really it's gone. there. It's gone. Not, I mean, it's there in some places. 
The village, but, the village, the village has dispersed. Even Usher, yeah. Usher was like, he was like, yeah, I, 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 you know, he was a, he was young too. He was real young when he got involved with all with, of with, with yeah, all of them, and and it is crazy that 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 Bieber a, after he got old enough, and I guess realized that this is not. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> he he was he was already he, he was, was groomed. Already, yeah. He and was fucked up. even harder, he was groomed by a male, and he is a male, which already, like you know, when it's a man to a woman or a female, it's a little different, mm -hmm. in a sense, like Explain because that. you know you know it's wrong, and. I don't know. I'm not going to say that you can accept, but you can. You can accept the fact that this this is a predator and someone who was abusing you, right? Um, the With men, I feel like it becomes a thing where they start questioning their own sexuality. Yeah. yeah. Because it's a, uh, you not know, I enjoyed myself. But the thing is that, like, that's how sex works. Like, unfortunately, whether we're being forced on or used or whatever, the body still reacts naturally to things. Yep. Yep. So just because, you know, you may have come or whatever does not doesn't mean, mean that, it, that you, you okay. enjoyed it, it and you right. wanted it. And you didn't want that. You didn't ask for that. So... That's what I mean when I say that um, there becomes this, there are other parts to it as well. Like where the, you have to break it down. Like, and then him coming out, him specifically coming out and saying stuff, then I think also can, you know, they'll question him yeah. more. And a lot of, and I hate this, the, the victim shaming that people do or say like, well, why didn't you say something sooner? Because that shit is hard. And yeah. and sometimes it takes years to realize what the fuck happened. And or and how now it happened and, and, and to right. not blame yourself for it. Right. Like I hate bringing it up, but it's it's the whole Michael Jackson thing all over again. Mm -hmm. Like nobody wants to believe victims because we're talking about a superstar. And it's like he was a person that was fucked up and was abused himself. Michael, Chances of Michael, that. Yeah. Michael Jackson, since he was a little boy, was fucked up, abused, beat up. I mean, he was sexually abused. In show business at a very young age. Very young age. Meaning he was subjected to a lot of things, probably, too. Oh, his dad. His dad did him dirty. Yeah. Yeah. What's that doesn't uh, make it okay. Nope. Right, right. So he looked, so he, Bieber looked up to Diddy. He was his mentor, the person who was guiding him. Through, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so complicated because, like, at one hand, this person brought you your career. Right. Helped like you he owes, become he owes him Bieber. Something or something. And, and yet all this was happening. Yeah. Like, it's almost like... One could, a victim in this sense, could be like, well, he did that, and but he gave me all these things. They justify it, and it's like but a bargaining thing, yeah. like a quid pro mm -hmm. quo thing. Or and, that he owes him all of his success, which he doesn't, because without their talent, right? you know. The, they wouldn't the, have made it. I mean, Justin yeah. Bieber's adorable, and all the girls fell in love with him. Like, that was going to happen even if he couldn't sing, okay? Yeah. So... But yes, like, I don't know. It's, it's, and it's, I feel like it's hard to be a victim in circumstances because a lot of times people don't believe them because they have these right. expectations of like, you knew you should have said something. Yeah, yeah. Like this is exact, like this you is how it goes down. You knew what you were down. signing up for. Right. Or Which whatever is, the case may be. But any of it. Yeah. it's not, no, it doesn't work. Why everyone wants everything to be so black and white, but it isn't. Like it's not. It's not. You want to hear? You want to hear something that uh, Rihanna said about Jay Z? What? Let's hear it. 
Um, this happened to her when she was 16 years old. Oof. Jay-Z kept a 16-year-old Rihanna in a room till 3 a.m. Wow. and allegedly left her with no choice but to sign with him. This is what she said. He said, Jay-Z allegedly said to Rihanna, according to her, there's two ways to leave here, either through the door with a, with, with, with a signed contract or out the window. And keep in mind, we're on the 29th floor. Wow. Ooh. Okay, then. Yeah. So that's that's what she's saying he said to her well, at 16, like at 16 yeah, years old. Awesome. I never, I, I don't like, the only thing I, I, that, that Jay-Z and the only thing with Jay-Z that I thought was okay was his first album. After that, he's trash. I never liked it. I'm being honest. I never liked Jay Z. I do, and I liked it, but you know what? I'm not surprised anymore that like any of these celebrities now all this shit comes out. It's like at the end of the day, they're people. They're, they're yeah, people yeah. just like us. And mm-hmm. we just put them on a pedestal and we we, we, we make do. them bigger than what they are, but they're not. They're fucking people and they do stupid shit. Or yeah. bad shit or whatever. Like there's I, there's tons of videos, man, like leaked videos from Puffy's collection. Wow. And there's one. You ever heard of the, the rapper um French Montana? Mm-hmm. Well, there's a video of Puffy in a robe singing to him, ha- singing happy birthday to him. I wish I, I, I could download the video and put it on. I it's so funny. French Montana is sitting on the other side of the table with no shirt on. Wow. While Puffy is in a robe saying happy birthday to him. And they they somebody's recording it and they're alone in, in this room, wherever it is. First so. of all, doing stuff like that and you allow somebody to record that shit, get out of here. No. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, and this whole Not thing. All the money in China. You know what I mean? And there's I don't know if you remember this this rapper his name was Shine. Mm-hmm. So he was on he was on their Puff Daddy's label, right? He was the one that went down for that whole shit with the gun with Jennifer Lopez and Puffy in the club. Yes. So what ended up happening was so the story was that that um Puffy gave Jennifer the gun okay mm-hmm. they got into the club then she gave the gun back to puffy puffy shot a guy and then gave the gun to shine shine got arrested went to jail for like 10 years mm. over that charge jennifer they, they're saying jennifer said oh puffy didn't do it he didn't do this he didn't do that she got under the roof and Shine went to jail. Wow. He did like ten years or whatever the case may be, and um, yeah. So and and Shine even said it. There's an interview with him. You look him up, where he said, "Yeah, Puffy destroyed my life." He said, "I had nothing to do with that," and you know, I I took that charge, and he completely disregarded me, and 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 they were they're 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 rappers that were under his label that died broke. Yeah. That were faint, like at one point were famous, like the one black Rob. He sang that song, Whoa. Remember that one? Yeah. Like, whoa. Well, yeah, like, whoa. So he died in a hospital bed, oh, broke God. with no with no money, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's 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 terrible. He takes he 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 signs these people, makes money off of them, and they, they're saying he has something to do with not only. Um, hold on. What's this say? Is the dude named Scar had beef with Diddy? Diddy was with J Ho Shine and Puff's boy named Wolf. Wolf and Shine busted off shots at Scar. They pinned the guns on Shine. That's yeah. Or that, that I guess that's just, that's the, the the story. Thank you, Mister Vic. Um. So. What was I saying? See, this is it's a grandpa moment. Um <laughs> All right, grandpa. Yeah. So anyway, the, the I fact mean, that... Diddy, you're basically saying just like all the horrible things this guy 
uh, so far that you remember of of certain things that he's done. I can't. I don't even remember where you were going with it either. So yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, the thing is that Jenny from the block is going to end up being Jenny from the block cell block E. <laughs> Jenny from cell block E. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. She's she's in trouble, man. She's in a lot of fucking mm-hmm. trouble with the rest of them. That makes sense now with the whole divorce thing. Yep. I mean, what do you what do you do with that? Somebody comes to you and says, This is what your wife is doing or has done. Right. What do you what do you do with that? I feel like bitch, I'm out. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, come on. At some at some point I report you know, the bitch. I'll be like, yo. You done dirty things. Yeah, they're saying shit with, uh, with, with, with young dudes and she look at she was, she was married to some young dude too, right? Yeah, I probably I don't remember. Yeah, she was married to a young dude. It was one of her dancers or some shit. Oh, right, right, right. Maybe. You know, so I yeah. wouldn't put, I just I would, remember Mark Anthony. Yeah, because that was the most popular one. And Alex Rodriguez, I think she yeah. was married to. Well, no, she? she was. No, engaged. they were engaged. They were just engaged. Engaged he... and wound up with Ben and married him. Yeah, uh, Alex Rodriguez knew better. He was like, "This is one Puerto Rican chick I ain't fucking with." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's 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 nuts. It's, it's she's yeah, they're all in trouble. Oh, There's also a video out there with Cat Williams, <laughs> um, and he he's funny. He's a funny motherfucker, man. And he said he was on the Shay Shay show, um, and he said that. 2024 is going to be the year that the truth comes out. And he said, he said, nobody is going to be safe. Not even Diddy, not even this one, not even that one. Right. And then like months later, Diddy's in jail. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, you have to, some of those videos are, uh, they're crazy. And but even, it, in, yeah, it's coming even, out. Yeah. Even in, in 2006, um, Cat Williams went on stage and he said that he wasn't even that famous yet. This was during his stand up show. He wasn't even that famous yet, and he went to one of those mansion parties. He said, yeah, I went to this mansion party. I wasn't even that famous. He goes, I walk in there. Everybody's cooling. And then there's 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 the party rooms, and then there's these other rooms. And I was one of the unlucky ones that walked through one of those rooms mm-hmm. and just stared and said, this is the wrong fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> He was, he was like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on in here?" He said, he "Put I put my boy to the side, and he was like, is that a dude? Fucking a dude? Like, is this what happens at these parties?'" He said, and he he was like, "Yo, he left. He was like, I, I can't." And they 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 even they even other other artists and rappers. I said they walk into some of these parties, yeah. industry parties, and it's like, what the fuck. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, because I don't want to be associated with that bullshit. Mm-mm. You know, so I mean, and look at look look um um also also what's this Drake? Oh, Drake is next. I, I believe it. Well, he's and, already going to be questioned, and it's probably I, been involved the, and. I don't trust his ass with young girls anyway. Let me explain why I think, and a lot of people think Drake is next because for one, there's a video of him with some young girl on stage. I don't know if you've seen it. The 16 year old or whatever. 16, 16, 17 year old girl. And he says to her, Yeah, how old are you? Mm -hmm. And she's like, Oh, whatever she whatever age she said, he goes, Damn, you're gonna get me in trouble. But he's still up there groping her. Yeah, I saw it. I think he ended up kissing. I don't know what the hell happened, but kissed on the cheek or something like yeah. that. But he like like was holding her and stuff like that. Uh, and, and shit. Yeah. And not only that, but that whole situation with the chick from Stranger Things, Millie Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. They they were like, oh, so we hear we hear you and Drake are close friends. She was fifteen at the time, I think, when they interviewed her, and yeah. she said, oh, me and Drake are really good friends. We text and we talk all the time, and. You yeah, know, like, I love I love him so much, and he loves me, and and I'm like, bro, mm-mm. she's 15 years old. What does a 30 some year old do? Yeah. Whatever, however age he was, you know, communicating with a young girl like that. 
And not only that, he did that shit to Billie Eilish too, and she cut that shit off quick. She was like, "Nah, you ain't gonna do that shit to me." Mm-mm. You know, well, I guess and... it helps that she's gay. So <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> I guess I didn't know that, by the way, but I guess I guess so. Yes. Oh, well, all right. And then this one says, "Y'all doing Miss Wendy Williams proud?" We're doing Miss <laughs> Wendy. Oh my god, that's a huge compliment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? That we're we're doing Miss Wendy Williams proud. Oh, oh poor boy. Wendy Williams. That poor woman. Yeah, she's. she's uh, going her, shit. I watched like that. Uh, who did the special on her? I'm trying to think if it was like. VH1, it was some random channel that did like a a dot like a little thing with her, like interview and stuff like that. Yeah. And they told like her story about her husband or ex-husband. And man, that woman went through some shit, man. And she I feel bad. I, you know, she's an addict lifetime. Of course mm. it's fucking lifetime. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that woman, I feel bad. Like seeing her now, like compared to what Wendy Williams was, you know, like it's yeah. sad. Once it's really time. sad. But addiction, fucking abuse, and all that fucks you up. Yeah. It really does. And she really tried to like keep it together in the public eye and everything and was going through some real shit. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. People forget, like, every you know, we're all human beings. We all have a story. We all went through some shit or go through shit. And, like, ain't nobody getting out of this life without something. Right. I mean, unless you're super rich and you're born into that life, that's just different. I just watched the fucking, uh, oh my God. I don't even want to keep that up there. How dare they? That's, that's terrible. Uh, the Menendez brothers oh, Netflix oh, that, that movie yeah M- Netflix did uh, the monster series yeah the monster but it's monsters for them because there's two of them yeah. and yeah there's let me tell you some I have to look for it but I have it the Mark Jackson Knicks basketball card okay from that from that year he's he Mark Jackson has the basketball and he's dribbling the ball. And in the background of the card, you see the both Menendez brothers at the basketball game. That no. was the night they killed their parents. No. Wow. And you look up, look up uh, Mark Mark Jackson Menendez brothers basketball card, and you look at it, <clears throat> and they're sitting in the background watching the basketball game. That was they say say was the night they they killed their parents. They went to the game, or the day after they went to the game. It wasn't the day of because the day of they killed their parents, tried to get movie stubs, and went to a wine festival. So it must have been sometime after they killed their parents. They went probably after because they went on a fucking uh, rampage of spending money as much as they could. So they were courtside. They were actually courtside at that game. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I will say this: they were spoiled fucking rotten. They were entitled bitches. That was for sure. Right. Uh, Do I believe that there was some, you know, that the parents were abusive or not loving? Possibly. Um, But did they do anything to just, like, get shot the way they did by them? No. They went in premeditated doing this. They went in wanting to kill. And that alone makes them sociopaths. Right. Because those are your parents. Like, it wasn't, I don't think it was that fucking bad. Because when they do, like, recount the way they treated their parents and all the trouble they would get into... And their father would bail them out with his money every single time. Like, yeah. you know, like also there 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 was issues there for sure. 
And the father was an idiot for fucking bailing them out every time. He should have made them fucking pay. Right. Because they burgl- they did robberies. They burglarized like people's homes. And got caught. And apparently his motto was cheat, steal, lie, but don't get caught. They got caught. Then they're doing time now. Well, yeah, they're and and the fact that they tried to like come up with some story of like how it went down, and the cops were just like, "This is not plausible at all." <laughs> and they're like, "We're tra- they they kind of had a feeling it was them, but obviously you need evidence, right? Proof something." So. Just crazy. And I didn't, I forgot that this literally was happening. Their trial was happening uh, during, like, when OJ's trial. Oh, yeah. Like, their, their trial was first, and then it was the OJ trial. And because OJ got off, they thought there was a chance that they too were going to get off. Sorry, the glove fit. Yeah, he it. there was a part in there that apparently he came up with um a saying for them too or something like right. uh if you were abused or something, I don't know, whatever, but fucking crazy. <laughs> like those guys are are sociopaths like 100%. And what's crazy is like I think they're married or have been married like mm. and they're in prison, you know, for life. I'm just like I don't I don't understand people. But whatever. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, I mean, shit. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That's I cheat and steal, though for real. He said that shit. That's well, terrible. allegedly. Yeah, alle- alle- <laughs> everything is alleged. So until there's facts, it's 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 alleged. We'll never know because they're right. dead. Yeah. I mean, I mean, who, who, you, you really got to be on some shit to kill your parents. There wasn't there a story recently of a little, a little kid that killed his mom or, or, or some shit like that. And I'm sure there's plenty. I think, well, I mean, that one girl that her and her boyfriend or whatever killed her mom oh, because yeah. her mom spent the whole. Well, she fucking yeah she made was... that girl sick, literally, mm-hmm. and she was healthy as fuck. Yeah. Uh, what is that? That Mount Ch- oh, Munchauser? Munchauser by proxy. Yes, that mom was fucking. Yeah, because she wanted you abusive know, attention for sure. And money yeah, and... yeah. But man, to use your kid like that, shit. Hey, the Gypsy love Rose, of money yeah. is the root of all evil. That's that's, crazy. that's fucked up, man. I know she and... says that she regrets it. Yeah. What about the fucking the kid that that shot up the the 14, 14 years old? Who buys their fourteen year old son an assault rifle? Apparently, you know? those parents. Those parents, yeah, yeah. But the father, the father's going to jail too. Yeah, they're finally. This is the second one, the second case where they're actually making the parent accountable because if it wasn't for the parent, they wouldn't have had the gun. So, yeah, I mean, they kind of go together. Right. So, yeah. So, I mean, shit, man. All right. So, with fuck, microphone in my face and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I went like that. I hit the fucking microphone. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, with that being said, I have another. Another topic here. So this is fast. This is football player that played for the Kansas City Chiefs. I know you guys aren't into sports or nothing, but this 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 is a yes, question. I, am. I, I know, I know, but I mean we don't we don't we don't talk I about know, we don't a lot do of sports sport shit. talks, yes. But this is this is this is crazy. I don't know how you how you would feel about this. So his name is Carson Steele. He's a rookie running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Sunday that just passed was his 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 opportunity to start for the first time because the the starting running back is injured 
So they're like, okay. you know what? You're going to start this week. You're going to be the number one running back for our team this week. Now we're talking about the Chiefs now, champs, two-time champs. They're going to work on their third championship. Now here's the catch. His sister is getting married Sunday. Oh. His sister, <laughs> his sister got married Sunday. He chose to play the game instead of going to the wedding. Right. How would you feel if you were the sister at that point? Well, I mean, if he's playing in the NFL, I'd have to understand that. Yeah, this is like professional. His yeah, his that's... moment, his moment yeah. to actually do something. I mean, it sucks. But it's why sad, are you getting but... married on a Sunday when your brother could be playing? Hello? Mm. Hey, my <laughs> brothers have not shown up for shit for a lot lesser. <laughs> <laughs> My brother didn't. My brothers didn't even come to my daughter's quinceanera, and that was. Oh for, my god! And that was for no reason but to lay on the couch. No. Yeah, that's just wrong. Wow. Her own father didn't even show up. Oh jeez. Oh man. Yeah. So yeah, he he played the game, had a pretty decent game, well, and good. didn't go. To, didn't go to the wedding, so. I just wanted to know what you, you know, if you were in that situation, what do you think? I mean, you he's would... getting paid millions of dollars to do it. So, I mean. I'm sure she's got a nice wedding gift. Yeah. You know? Right? I'm, I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure he can make it up to her somehow. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, should pay for their honeymoon. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, he could. He really could. I'm sure he did something. Yeah. Let's hope. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah, you never you never do know. I mean Yo, my brothers wouldn't even put me out if I was on fire. Oh my and I got, lord. And I got four of them bad boys. Oh damn. Damn. Not one of them? Not one of them. That's 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 tough. That's what spending your whole life taking care of them does to you. Oh jeez. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So and you I'm, have and I'm Latina too, so you know. They were taken care of. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so you have you have four brothers, you said. Do you have any sisters? Uh, I had one sister, but she passed about nine years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. She, sorry it was that. all right. She was disabled. Um, oh. So it is what it is. But nope, yeah. it's just me. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's tough. I got I got tons of siblings. I had a brother. I had a brother that passed, though. Um, yeah, that was that was a little rough because he he. See, the thing is, is that my 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 father. He was uh, he's retired now. He's a Latin singer, right? And you know he he had <laughs> he was retired from making children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's he's retired, but you know he calls me from time to time you know and thinks he's talking to his brother because his brother name is his brother's name is Corleone too oh okay so he calls me up and me like oh yeah oh yeah Corleone get through I said and I'm like bro this is your son <laughs> and he's like oh I'm sorry I'll call you back <laughs> oh wow <laughs> I'm like man look and the thing that that really got me with him is that he's not doing too well. Mm. You know what I mean? And he's at a he's at a he's at a crossroads, I think, in his life where he's he's trying to mend things. Right. And people ain't ready. You know, and he he has he has um he has this thing where it's like, do you forgive me for what I didn't do for you? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, not what he actually did. Right. Because he actually didn't do shit. <laughs> you know? So it's kind of like he's, he, he's, he's facing... His, his mortality. mortality, exactly. And he's like, yep. 
he's like, damn, you know, if I don't reconcile, I'm going to, I'm going to die, you know, in this situation. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of, I kind of feel like I, I, I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, yeah. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just, I'm just like, you know, um, it is what it is. Yeah. And if you want to, if you want to come to me and talk to me about it, you know, like, like he has and stuff and, you know, I, I, I accept it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, well, go fuck yourself. Right. And right. go, go, go die by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he has his lady, he has, he has other kids and stuff, but he's really focusing for some reason on me, you know, and. Well, maybe, you know, in his heart, it's like he realizes that he, he did some big screwing up with you. Mm-hmm. Feels guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When when people start to question their mortality, my own biological father did the same thing. I mean, he showed up in my life after 40 something years. Damn. And last year and spent the first ever Father's Day with me. And wow. you know, and of course now me being the woman that I am, uh, as soon as he showed up, I, I had every right. Um, out of all of my siblings, I think I had the most right to tell him to go kick rocks, but I didn't because it's not the person that I am and actually ended up, uh, seeing that he was in trouble, you know? And so I immediately went to Florida and, you know, did power of attorney and started taking over, you know, so I'm literally, while he's living in Florida, trying to be in denial of his mortality because there's a lot going on with him. Um, you know, I'm over here in New Jersey, basically taking care of all of his stuff, you know, paying his bills and, and doing all those things. And the funny thing is he was never there one day in my life. Um, but again, it's a, it's not about him. It's about me kind of like, like you were saying, Corleone, you know, I don't want my life to go down that way. You know, I, I don't want to let him, you know, cause me bitterness, you know, and the forgiveness I've given wasn't for him. It was for me because I deserve right. peace. I deserve peace and, and tranquility in my life. And for me to hold on to whatever, you know, other people think he deserves that hurts me more than that hurts him. Cause he's still, he has still been living his life over there, you know, and, and me sitting over here, just continuing to ruminate in all of the history for what, for what, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. Oh so yeah. They start thinking about their more. Cause he, for the first time in my life, he cried, you know, how sorry he is about, you know, everything in the, you know, when my mother passed away, not being there and, and blah, blah, blah. Well, the truth is, uh, you were never a dad to begin with. So I'm not, right. miss I'm not missing anything. Uh, you know, I do what I do out of the kindness of my heart. And because my mother who actually raised us, you know, put that in us to, to be those people. So. Yeah, he can I mean, cry. He can cry all he wants. It doesn't change anything. Right, right. And the shit, the shit is too, is that when you have a parent that that is delinquent like that, and then pops up, the first thing that comes to mind is why. Yeah. What do you want? You know what I'm saying like, what What do you want? <laughs> you know what I'm saying before anything else, like what What? What the fuck do you want from me? Like, what do I? What can I possibly offer you? Yeah, what you are know, your I'm motives sure. and your right. intentions? And yeah. you're suspect, dude. Yeah, like what the fuck? Um, so are you missing your days of Studio 54? Are you missing, you know what I'm saying? Are you missing the limelight? I mean, you, you miss traveling the world or you miss traveling, you know, to go see your 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 um side pieces. <laughs> side pieces, exactly. <laughs> Because it's yeah. let me tell you something. He's told he's told me some stuff 
while he was drunk. Right. And some of it rocked me. Like, I'm like, what? Mm. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but he, one time he said to me, he was, I mean, he was pissed drunk. And I'm just sitting there listening to him babble on. And I think listening to him babble on is, 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 is part of what I do with the old folks. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But just yeah. let them talk their shit. Let them, you know, say what they got to say. And every once in a while, oh, yeah, really? Wow. You know what I mean? So he says to me, he says, you know something? I had three. He said, like, like that's how he, three. Women, and I thought he was going to say at one time. <laughs> <laughs> which would make said, sense. <laughs> yeah, which would make a lot of sense. But he said, I had, I had three women pregnant in Ooh. one year. Give birth to kids in one year. So I'm counting wow. in my head. And I'm saying, well, I know that my brother, Daniel, we're the same age a couple of months out of the year. That I know. But who's this third one? Oh, snack. Oh I'm like, really? He's you like, better go do some 23 and me. <laughs> I was well, just well, gonna <laughs> say that. Well, that's actually one of the reasons why I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it done because he said ancestry.com. <laughs> he said that um I have a sister. Ooh. in California somewhere and she was born the same year that me and Daniel were born oh wow and I'm like bro how do you how, how did how did you get away with this you know what I'm saying like what what the fuck he was like oh you know I I just was having a good time with my life, you know. I was, I was, I was singing. I was traveling. I was making babies, right, bro? Like, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. yeah. And he, he, you know, I, I don't think he. Reg- I think what he regrets is how he handled his situation with his kids. You know, I don't think he regrets his life. Yeah. And how or he how lived he it. lived it. Right. <laughs> or how he lived it. But I just think that he's just regretting how he handled the situation with his kids. Now he is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that that's why I'm looking pro- long enough. I know. Look at that. <laughs> you know, and I think I think I look I look at it and I say to myself that I'm really glad that I didn't do that to mine. You yeah, know what I mean? We we know you got a mess load of them. You know, mm-hmm. you know, and you were planting uh, seeds everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what you doing? Yo? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, shit. Man. But, but, um, You're yeah, it, it's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did I just do that? <laughs> yeah but it's 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 you know i mean i'm glad that i didn't do that to any of mine you know i was i was there from the jump any of my and any of my children could tell you that you know i had a couple of hiccups here and there but ultimately when it came down to it you know they know they know what's up you know what I mean? They know what the deal is. So, you know, and then I got, I got a, I got a slew of grandkids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Christmas time is rough, but, Not bad. you know, it's all good. And, um, I just, I think this year, I'm 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 just gonna pick out a gift that's neutral and get them all the same thing. Mm. What? You know, what? What do you mean? I want to look. I, I don't think any of my I don't think any of my kids are, are viewing right now, but I want to get them all an ATM piggy bank so all they right. can learn at an early age 
how to save money and, and pay and every, grandpa's bills. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pay for pay for my, my home health aid and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And they could learn how to, you know, save money and, you know, add and math and, you know, all that good stuff, especially for the older ones. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I, I saw a nice, uh, a pretty cool looking one. It actually comes with a little ATM play card that you can oh, put you can in. Oh, buy me and, one of those for yeah. Christmas. And um, all right. <laughs> and um, I need to learn how to save money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So that that's that's what it is. So. Um, we got that. We got the. We got that, and I went four and one of my my fantasy football leagues this week. I'm so happy. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. Oh, I'm doing really good. Um, but other than that, man, I mean, when are we getting paid, boss? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be straight up. I'll, be, I'll tell you right now that um. We've been, I'm very happy that we've been so consistent with this the last month and a half, two months. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to, I'm going to put in to, to get it to that point now. So as long as we can keep this up, we will. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to look into that and, um, you know, make things happen. Mm make things happen and, and the thing that 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 i think is is cool is that um we have we have great chemistry between the four of us you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i mean it's not like we're sitting here fucking twiddling our fucking thumbs and we don't know nothing about nothing you know we got the fucking la doctora over here <laughs> we I got think we, you know what i TG think we're all love over here yeah we're all Experts in our own fields. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. We all have something to offer. Yes. Yep. And that and that's what makes it that's what makes the dynamic dynamic. You know what I'm saying? And TG actually you should you should um I'm not I'm not I mean you can do whatever you want to do, but under your name under your name, you should put something like what we have with ours. So you should make a make make up a AKA or something and put it under there. Oh man. The right. civil rights advocate, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, I'll think of something simple. Oh, look at this one! Oh, please, <laughs> my mine just mine just popped up. Like one day, I was just looking at I was looking at the two of them, and I was just like, I'm gonna put something on my thing too. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They, yeah. you guys usually do put something on there. Yeah, Dub's got I think I only did it like. No, I I didn't do it actually ever. So. So now. With that being said, mm-hmm. and that being said, and that being said, um, I'm not. I am not, and I will not ask. What are you passionate about this week? I will not do that. No worries. I'm only passionate about sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't not. think mine is shareable. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. We. I mean, you know, is there? I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut because I, I don't want TG to go on a tangent over oh here. Oh my god, I don't have any tangents. I promise. Like we kind of hit some big big stuff before so i mean i can only just add because you guys shared about your families that um that i am one the first born all right of you know so spoiled by i was definitely spoiled by my grandmother because i was the first um and then i have two brothers and two sisters but my youngest sister oh, passed wow. away three no. years ago, oh, giving birth sorry. to my niece. Oh, 
Um, and and I don't really talk to my other brother and sister or my brother. Nobody likes me. It's okay though, because I like you. You know what, TG? <laughs> we got each other because none of my right. siblings That's speak right. to me either. I told you well, they wouldn't put me out if I was on fire. I mean, I probably have the same thing going on here, but. Um, the reality of all of that for me is that, like, I just, I've learned as the older I got, the more I wasn't, like, able to set boundaries. Oh, well, thanks, Aww. Debbie. Uh, I was able to set boundaries for myself. And um, if if I have family members who are toxic or they are, like, only bring negative shit then it was okay for me to cut ties with that because I don't want to be, I don't want that in my life. Right. Absolutely. And as when I was young, I dealt with it because I was taught that your family is your family. You love them no matter what. Yeah. But as an adult and having dealt with so much and being a survivor of so many things, I'm just like, yeah, no, like y'all are wrong. I'm not okay with the way you act, treat people, talk about people, whatever. I don't associate with that. I don't, I'm like my, I, most, my friends are my family and my friends aren't like that. So, what, right. you know, um, but yeah. And then uh, my mom in December, it'll be 10 years that she passed away. Mm. So it's like, it's a wow. weird so what, year. So what, what year, 2013? 14. 14. Yeah. My mom passed in 2013. And yeah. mine died two two weeks before September 11th. Oh damn! Oh man, that's wow. fucking tough. <laughs> but I t I tell my I tell my siblings I was like, hey, I ain't gotta like you to love you. Yeah. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna love you from over here while you be chaotic and toxic over there. <laughs> right. Yeah, like I think like there is love, like. There's there's good memories that I have, yeah. you know, and I'll I'll live on those. Um, but you, you know, we'll see what the future holds. I mean, yeah. hopefully people uh become grow better up. for themselves, yeah, yeah, become more self-aware and grow up and then yeah. uh you know, I'm I'm willing and able to amend with certain things, but like certain shit, I'm just like, I'm too old for this. Like I absolutely, I don't got time for this anymore. Like right now, I'm I'm trying to figure out what the hell I want to do with myself. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm currently uh, because my job one of the benefits is that they'll pay for tuition. However, the school that they're associated with only offers two two fucking master degrees. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I want to be a nurse or some or other stupid thing I don't want to do. I'm like, I don't want to be any of those things. So yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure it out. But I'm actually thinking about getting a master's. I don't know in what. Um, but that's what I'm trying to decide right well, now. I'm just I'm just letting you know with the master's degree, I ain't made no more freaking money. <laughs> well, this I mean, I was trying to do that for that. But I mean, we'll see. Because like, I'm also trying to... Uh, try to figure out what I can get that helps me get a job where I can actually make changes. So yeah. uh, that's kind of like where I'm going because I feel like I'm at a standstill right now because, you know, to certain people, my experience isn't enough. Like for some, you know, certain jobs, yeah. you need to have more than just a bachelor's. It is what it is. But like, also, if I want to make real freaking money, that's what I'm going to have to do too because yeah. I'm working in healthcare. So the opportunities are endless, and I think that's why it's so overwhelming because I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I've thought about maybe going more into nutrition or, like, some type of admin type thing or something, but I have no idea right now. And that's okay. And that is okay, but I don't have a lot of time because if I want right. to start, I want to start in, in the spring. So I got to get my shit together quickly and figure it out. But hey, it's never too late. Because even That's, in my yeah. age, even in my age, I'm, and I don't even know why, because the job that I work at now, my master's degree, they don't even care that I got a master's degree. 
but mm-hmm. I'm considering, you know, my doctorate in something totally different than what my bachelor's and master's is in. Right. And actually, my doctorate would be in something that interests me, something that speaks to my soul um, and would really have nothing to do with professional because I would not want to do it professionally. <laughs> Right. Um, so it's just like personal growth and things like that. Yeah. Uh, but you do get to a point in your life where you're just like, do I want to be happy or do I want to be rich and miserable? So <laughs> I, I think I'll, I think I'll be, I want to uh, be rich and happy. So <laughs> I don't know that those two things can exist. I, I don't know. I think being someone who grew up poor, it might be. Well, uh, I grew up, I grew up. Yeah. I grew up pretty poor. My thing, though, is um, with the more money that comes, comes, you know, more responsibility and more less, taxes. Yeah. And less quality and, 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 of and life. They, and they say with great power comes great responsibility. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We know that, Corleone. But it also so. comes but it also comes with the high stress and again, a lower quality of life, you know, not not lack of resources you know which does make life easier however you know the stressors get a lot bigger i mean the 20 years i spent as a therapist the the people that i treated you know like they all because i i worked at least my my last couple years in um doing therapy it was in an affluent you know area in pennsylvania and i mean the they were so unhappy and, you know, just, they didn't know what to do with themselves. They had all of these resources, but no quality of life. But that's the thing, right? Like those people, they didn't have that. They didn't have like a purpose. I feel like people with purpose, it's different because definitely like, some people may not like Bill Gates or whatever, but like not for nothing, that man as a billionaire has also done a lot of like charity work and foundations and things like that to help other people and yeah. is doing, you know, so like there are people out there who have money, but not people like Elon Musk who fucking just is create a kids for the sake of giving them crazy names. And also just use his money to do stupid things like put a fucking car in space. Like, (laughs) why? Who the fuck? Why did anyone think that was an okay thing to do is beyond me. But whatever. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, there are people who are miserable because they don't find that purpose in life. They don't find the things that actually make them happy. And... And you also can't rely on your money for happiness either. Because if you're doing that, then you're fucked. Really? <laughs> like, yeah. how many yes, people, money how- money brings resources and things, obviously. Shit. I would, first thing I would do is have someone clean my house every week. And maybe even have someone cook for me. I mean, I'm all good with that. But in a car, a new car. Maybe I'll yeah. get you one too, Big C. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it depends how much money I'm rolling in, though. That's all I'm saying. What if I win the lotto? I mean, I gotta play it though. But yeah, I mean, you mm-hmm. never know. You gotta play to win, honey. You gotta play know, to win. <laughs> so, all right, r- quick go around the room. All right, you win the you win the lottery. Mm. You win fifty mil. What's the first thing you do? First thing I do: pay off my debts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get rid of that shit. Buy a house. Okay. One more thing. Give me three things. Uh, bed, definitely buy buying a, a new car. Or not a house. new used car. I Even with money, I wouldn't buy a new car. I probably buy a used They're car. not worth it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just going to be going crazy spending money. But I definitely think, like, having oh, yeah, a home is, is a, like, I would love to own my own home. So for me, I think that's like the first thing I'd want to do. All right. What about you, Lady G? Um, I would definitely uh, open up bank accounts for my, well, my granddaughter, both my girls, um, even my nieces and nephews, because they really, they've had a hard way in life and, you know, they all deserve, you know, so just a little bit for, for everybody that's here. 
uh, my 10% to the church. And uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's $5 million. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm positive. Let me tell you, I have always done my 10% and the Lord has always kept me above ground. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yo, 10% what? that uh, out of that's $5 million. Okay, that's, that's a lot that, of money. That's, that's Let me tell you money. something. If I got 50 million, I would probably do the annuity because what in the world am I going to do with all that money with the amount of time I got left in my life? I'm not leaving nobody. I'm I not don't leaving. Know, just throw that 10% to me in big C. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I, break, I can still break you off some, but no, God comes first, man. I got to give him my 10%. No, no, oh, man, right. you're too faithful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the third thing, I, I, even though I know what it is to own a home, I think I would actually build Ooh. my my dream hacienda which is actually not very big. It would not, <laughs> it could probably fit in the yard that I have right now, but um, it would be the house that I need and want. Uh, Cause I don't, see the thing is I am very easy to please. I'm easy to please, but because being in the middle class, we don't make enough money to do things on our own. Mm. But however, we're too rich to get any assistance. So the middle class really does do a lot of suffering. Mm -hmm. And and the truth is, I'd probably go broke giving it all away to people because I I, I don't need much. I yes, want... you, you do. First of all, you need like a whole, uh, I forgot the name of it. Oh, my God. Treat yourself day. Okay, first yeah. of all, because you deserve <laughs> it. Go on a couple vacations. I have a whole list of shit for you to do for yourself. So don't be go spending all that money. Okay. You deserve it. I mean, no, you talked about the annuity so that I could I can maintain because I still have to work. I cannot. Not well, work. you got to show up for work for a little while at least. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone says. They're like, if I won though. the lotto, I would still go to work and act oh. like everything is okay. Yeah. And then eventually you just be like, all right, I'm out, bitches, I won. <laughs> <laughs> give it the two weeks. I'll give on, the two on, weeks. On the bad, I, I think on the, uh, you know, everybody's got that bad side of them. Um, I probably do something real bad to my ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> Make his life a living mess for a little bit. Ooh, you could send him a box of decks. Oh, God. <laughs> no, his new wife. And some baby oil. <laughs> uh, you could. No, I don't I, know. I There's so many things. The, I would buy all of the condos next to his. <laughs> 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 and put, put all dubs next to order him. Oh, yes. God. That would be wonderful. That, that would be yeah. great. I'll put, right I'll, put Corleone, I'll put Corleone on one side <laughs> and dubs on the other. <laughs> And then me and TJ will, TJ will just show up every once in a while. That'll yeah. be our, vac our vacation. Vacation. <laughs> That's unreal, man. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, and the funny thing was, I wouldn't do anything to hurt him, but I would annoy the crap out of him. Mm. I would use that money for some good. Ooh, you know what some people do? They do like boxes of glitter. That's fun. Because <laughs> that's so hard to get out of everywhere. <laughs> I'd send strippers to his house every day. Oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> Magic that glitter Mike. idea is good. Magic Mike. <laughs> the glitter idea is funny. That's funny. Yeah. So my three things would be the first thing I would do is um make sure the family's set. You know, that would be before I, I handle mine. I make sure all the kids and the grandkids all have you know, they're all set. And then I would build a youth football field. I'll pick a town, one of the towns I've lived in that was that, you know, that I coached in or whatever. And I would build a football field for the little kids. Um, and then after I did that, I would build, um, 
It's, all right, I'm, it's four things I would do. I would make sure the kids are good, build a football field. The third thing would be build um, like a not, – not, not, a, not a shelter, but like a, a, an apartment complex with a bunch of apartments in it for abused mothers, you know, to make sure they, they, they get a safe place for themselves. You know, and then the last thing I would do is go to South Carolina, buy a big ass piece of land and build a house for all the kids right. with a gate in front with a big sign that said Wu-Tang lives. No, no, no. <laughs> Corleone's Wu-Tang Ranch. for the children. Corleone's Ranch. Oh, and speaking then, of which. I, I have a Wu Tang poster for you, Corleone. <laughs> oh, word! Nice. My right. my granddaughter last weekend. Uh, I was in Texas. My granddaughter turned two, and um, Wu-Tang my daughter is for the children. <laughs> my grand, children. my daughter and her husband. Um, it was like a, a rock party type of thing, uh-huh. uh, and he bought all these posters, like different genres and whatnot, mm-hmm. to to decorate the hall with. And so part of the, the parting gifts for all the people were the, um, to, to let them pick the posters they wanted to take home. And I was like, oh, Corleone loves Wu-Tang. So let me get that post. <laughs> oh, word. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I appreciate if I, if that. I had known, you know, what, what TG and, and Dubs liked, I probably, if they had it, I would have grabbed them for those too. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Yeah, I appreciate and this, that. This little girl was so funny because she had on, I mean, of course, it was pleather. It wasn't real leather. Uh, a, <laughs> a pleather skirt. My my daughter bought her combat boots and fishnet knee highs. I can't. With a red hot chili peppers t-shirt and a leather jacket. It wow. was adorable. And she even had her own little setup of... Uh, um. um a microphone, like the real microphone that had the the tie, um, the things tied onto it. Uh, like all of those wall hanging things or like bandanas or whatever tied onto it. Um, yes. Like yes. Steven Tyler has yes. or whatever. A mic stand. Uh, yeah, but it has, like, but, but, she, but she had all these things tied on them. Oh, you know? okay. Like a rock star. Yeah, like a rock star. And then she even had a, a a speaker, like one of her own little subwoofer speakers. Oh my god! I had like play guitars and whatnot. It, it it was, it was so like imaginative, and at the same at the same time, like the cutest thing. You just want to bite all the little kids that were singing. <laughs> wow! It was it was That's That's cute. Yep, but Texas was hot. I'm like, can I go home? <laughs> Yeah, Texas. Yeah, I is, heard that. Yeah, it's Texas ridiculous. Without is even really trying, hot. you you wake up and all of a sudden you're on fire. <laughs> oh my god! And then we got stuck in the Boston airport. Oh god! Overnight, I was like, oh gosh. Wait, well, how did you end up in Boston? Well, that was one of the layovers. Um. So you went past. Yes. To yes. come back. Isn't that stupid. Yep, that's the way the airline did it. Yep. I was like, "Are you... but the reason we got stuck in Boston is because these idiots uh, booked us on a flight that took off before we landed." Oh Jesus! Um, and then they tried. They were they were getting ready to not, and so we missed the last flight back to Philly, and um, I'm I'm like. But this is your like your fault, your mistake. You changed our flight. Um, and they were like, but we sent an email. And I, I said, do. you know what? You know when they sent the email? While we were in the air. Yeah, like that's gonna and, help anybody. Yeah, and how was I supposed to read that email if you tell me my phone's gotta be on airplane mode? mode? Yeah. Airplane mode, you gotta shut it off. Yeah, and, and, and I was supposed to read that email that you changed my flight. And then when I arrive, it's already gone. 
So what am wow. I supposed to do with that? So that was interesting. It was interesting. messing up big. Yeah. Wow. That's, 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 yeah, that's, oh man. Yeah. So of course mm. I miss a, a, an extra day of work and my younger daughter missed an extra day of school. Aw. I'm like you people. Well, it was quite an adventure, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's cool. So it's life interesting. Yeah, it really yes. does. It really does. So with that being said, Lady G, what's your final thought of the evening? Um it's all gravy. Life is it's ninety percent what you do about things and only ten percent about what actually happens. So we get to decide. Okay. So it's good stuff. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. TG Love, what's your final thought of the evening? Don't get old. <laughs> I'm already there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you start peeing yourself. Your bladder fails you. It's not cool. Yo, the getting up in the morning. I'm so done <laughs> that with little getting walk, older. That, that little bent over walk you got to do. And then when you get to the end of the hallway, then you can stand straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a home health aid? Right? <laughs> oh, damn. It's like I wake up, I hear all these things cracking and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, my like, damn. Uh, there was a meme I shared with my best friend today that said something about like when you're younger, you could like fall down like five, like 10 feet down or whatever. And, and you're, you just get a scratch or something. Uh, but when you're old, you could be making a cake and you dislocate your shoulder. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. But it's true. Oh, oh God. Shit. Is that what it's happened so to my funny. shoulder the other day? Wait a <laughs> you were cooking so hard. Like, <laughs> Something's going on in there. What the fuck? That must have been God. air frying the chicken. I, I no, it was Corleone eating that burger the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was just like, Ugh. oh my God, it's crazy. No, it's just crazy. Oh man, <laughs> that's hilarious. He's the only one I know he's a cheeseburger with no cheese. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Let me get a cheeseburger. Hold the cheese. <laughs> I would sir, laugh at you. Hamburger. Oh my god, I would laugh at you and be like, "It's called a hamburger, sir." <laughs> <laughs> I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> no, I'd be like, but I needed the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Oh, my final thought of the evening is uh, <laughs> don't, don't get a burger dead. without cheese. Don't, be don't, get a, don't get a burger without cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, it's not as good without cheese. I'm no, sorry. It, it, it really isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> it really isn't. Oh, shit. Yeah, well... It was a great night. I really yeah. enjoyed hanging out with y'all. It was ladies' night. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm Big Corleone. That's Lady G. That's TG Love. Mm -hmm. This is the This My Hurt podcast. And always keep in mind that at some point, this, this might hurt. hurt. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs>